I was trying to channel my inner Abraham Lincoln. Anyway, guys, uh, just real quick, I'm going to talk to you about my small steps workshop. Small steps, just like it sounds. I want to make sure everybody I work with uh, or that I have influence over has the opportunity to make sure and audit that they are taking the first few small steps they need to take to get to where they're going. So many times we're doing fancy diets, fancy exercise programs, fancy supplements, pills, potions, uh, seeing fancy doctors. Uh, I don't know if fancy is the right word for all of that, but you know what I'm saying. And uh, it's not working because you are missing small steps. So I will just tell you one of my first small steps uh, of healthy body motion, which is not exercise or very different, um, and food. So small steps for me, I have to get about 7,500 small steps a day, quite little small steps. I don't run. I don't walk on a treadmill that's being walked. I just walk. And that is how uh, I have to treat my body as a foundation. Now, I do high-intensity exercise, and here and there I will run up hills and do intervals and sprints and all kinds of things, but those are not my small steps. Those are more advanced. And as far as food goes, right now I'm taking small steps. I, I had gotten a little unruly and was on vacation down south and ate some things I don't usually eat and paid the price. My stomach hurt, gained five pounds in three days, which is shocking. And no, it was not five pounds of fat. I didn't eat, you know, 3,500 times five extra calories because that's 3,500 calories in a pound times five. I did not do that, but I probably gained a half a pound of fat, but I gained a bunch of fluid retention and probably have some inflammation and my stomach hurt. And it would probably take me two or three weeks to, to get over that. So I had to get back on my small steps. For me, uh, my food's real simple. Right now I'm eating ground turkey, salmon, heavy cream in my organic coffee because life without coffee and cream would hardly be worth living. And uh, cauliflower, and what's the other one? Uh, there's one more. Oh, uh, some peanuts uh, and plain yogurt. That's for me, that's my small steps. If you try to do that, it might mess you all up. So don't do it without somebody coaching, somebody being me uh, or, or somebody like me to what your small steps should be. The minute I do that, start feeling better, my body starts responding, losing weight, burning fat, sleeping better, all that. So those are my small steps. You gotta find yours, okay? You can't copy mine, you can't copy people on the internet, you can't copy a good friend. Half the time you can't even copy a twin because their genetic expression might be different than your genetic expression, even though they're the same genes. Different lives, different shoes to walk in. So that's my small steps spiel. Uh, Abe and I are going to go back to it. Uh, we got work to do. I hope to see you next month. Uh, check the email details for the logistics of that. We're going to do it on a Friday night and it's just going to be a couple hours, two, three hours. We're going to help you understand what your small steps are and you can bring a friend and do all that And because you need a team. You need a community. That's why we're meeting live. We're not Zooming this puppy. Okay, guys, that's all I got for today. Have a great day. If you don't want to hear this again, uh, just opt out. But chances are you're still listening, so you probably wouldn't opt out. Even more to the point, if you're still listening, send this to a friend who hasn't heard about small steps and we'll go from there. Thanks so much, guys. Bless you. See you soon. Bye.